I don't know what to call this video. I kind of wanted to do a like an end of the year favorites slash there's also some empties in here but I couldn't do just an empties video because there's stuff that isn't empty and the stuff that isn't empty was a bunch of fails so I'm kind of just clobbering this all into one and we're gonna see how it comes out so it's just basically a lot of like bath and body stuff that I've used repeatedly throughout the year and some stuff that did not work for me which is mainly hair stuff um there's only like three things here that's hair related but I'm gonna do the good stuff first and like tell you if I'm gonna repurchase it or not um so right off the bat this is the I don't know if this is Eva or Ava I never know how to say it Eva NYC main magic 10 in 1 conditioner I love this stuff. This one's empty. I have already purchased another one. Um, but like word to the wise, when you think this is empty, it feels like there's nothing left in there, but then there's still a ton in there. So you need to take the pump out and you can like, it's thin enough that you can get it all out onto your hand. But this one is empty so I can throw it out. But I love the scent of it. First, it's got like, I don't even know how to describe it but it reminds me of like there's a scent from Lush and I'm trying to think of what it is I've said it before too I just got it on my nose didn't I I think it is the the Sultana of Soap scent that it kind of smells like or no 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 American Cream um, that is what this kind of reminds me of that scent but it has um, argon oil and stuff in it and it's just especially when I straighten my hair it makes it nice and shiny it just makes it super soft I've really loved it so far and even when I leave my hair curly it like it moisturizes it to the point where I don't have to worry about putting a ton of product in it afterwards which is saying a lot because when I leave my hair curly it likes to get frizzy <laughs> um, so yeah big huge thumbs up to this. I've already repurchased it. I have the new one in the shower. But I wanted to keep the empty one to show you guys, just to talk about it and show you guys that I used that one all up. Um, this is, do I have any more hair stuff? I think that's the only hair thing that like needed praise <laughs> that I've used lately because this past year has just been a year of trying a ton of new hair products and trying to since we moved into this house, I was thinking for a long time that it was like, oh, we must have hard water. That's why my hair has been so dry lately. But I think it was just the fact that I'm, I've been using a ton of different products and not really finding anything great that worked for me. So the one thing that I did want to mention was the, the main magic stuff because this is great. And I do kind of want to try some other stuff from this brand because I think the only other thing I've ever tried from them was like a sample hair mask and I really liked that too. So um, the other thing, well the next thing is this CoverGirl moisturizer. This is the mattifying oil-free moisturizer. Um, this one is empty. I have already repurchased it because I love it so much. I got every last drop out of this. But um, I was thinking that this one was cheaper for some reason. It's not that cheap. It's $20 on Ulta's website. It's probably the same, about the same price everywhere else that it's sold. The CoverGirl making skincare stuff is new to me. I didn't know that they even made skincare stuff until I came across it when I was looking at moisturizers on the Ulta site. And I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. So I ended up really loving this. It is a, I know it's empty so you can't really see, it's a gel moisturizer. So it's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's something that's gonna work for me in the, like, I got it in the summertime, but I'm using it into the wintertime because it works so well. It is really, it has a heavy fragrance to it, but I love that in skincare, so if you don't like fragrance stuff, you're not gonna like it. It's got like a, it's just very clean smelling. Um, and it is so similar to the Belief Aqua Balm, I think I'm, I think that's what it's called. The Belief Skincare um, from Sephora or wherever else sells it. Um, that was one of my favorite moisturizers. I loved how it just sinks into your skin. It doesn't like it helps fight against oil, um, so that my oily skin is not shiny all day long. But that stuff was like 
it was probably around the same price. I want to say the Belief one, the full size is like $28, but I would go through it in no time. I felt like it got used up so quickly and I used the same amount with this and this one just, I think I had this one and went through it completely in like four or five months. You need like so little of it, but when it comes and you open it, it is like filled to the top. So I get like a week out of it just using what is left on the um, on the cover, on the cap, and then before dipping into this. So it is very worth the $20. That is why I repurchased it already. I haven't had to get different kinds of moisturizers because I didn't like it. Um, I just, I love this one and I cannot say enough, enough nice things about it. So that is a huge, huge thumbs up from this year. Um, I think I got, my hair is stuck to my glasses right now. It's like in the uh, I think I got this for the first time in like June or July and then I just bought the other one recently so it is a huge thumbs up for me. Now this is a body wash that I have used several times. I guess there's still a little bit left in here but it's kind of watery. Um, this is from Love, Beauty, and Planet. It is the Acai Berry and Retinoid Smooth and Renew Plant-Based Body Wash. I just really like how big this uh, container is. It's a 20 ounce bottle. You don't see that much when you buy body wash. Um, and it just smells really good. Super berry-ish and fruity. And this was the second bottle that I've gone through. I haven't repurchased this one yet just because I have a lot of Bath and Body Works um, shower gels that I need to go through. But I will most likely get this again in the future because it's not that expensive and it's a huge bottle that lasts forever. <laughs> so I do really like this one. Um, I'm not sure where they sell this Love, Beauty, and Planet brand other than Walmart because that's the only place I've seemed to be able to get it. Um, and then another body wash. Um, this is the Eucalyptus and Tea body, uh, Aromatherapy Body Wash and Bubble Bath body wash and foam bath from Bath and Body Works. There's something about that, about this that is just so calming. It's such a nice like lulling scent. And I don't know what it is about eucalyptus, but I hate eucalyptus scents on, on their own. Like I have eucalyptus essential oil um, to mix with stuff for when I'm making Bath and Body products and I hate the smell of it on its own. But this one, eucalyptus and tea smells heavenly and then I have a lotion from their aromatherapy line that is eucalyptus and lavender and I keep that by my bed on the bedside table because it's just it's so nice to smell at night when you're going to sleep and I put lotion on my hands every night um, especially in the winter time so this I have already repurchased thankfully they didn't get rid of the scent of like most of the times I find a scent on Bath and Body Works and then I go to repurchase it and it's gone. Um, like they used to have one called Nighttime Tea that was pr very similar to this and it was my absolute favorite and they don't make it anymore. Um, but this just smells so good. If you have never smelled this in person, go to a Bath and Body Works and get this one because it is, ugh, I just love this one so much. So yeah, I have another one of these in the shower right now. Um, I'm hoping I get another one for Christmas because I've already hinted to my grandmother <laughs> that I kind of love the eucalyptus and tea scent. I think she's the one that got me this one um, last Christmas because this is not the same packaging that is on the one that I just bought. Um, then I have a shameless self-promotion for my own brand here. This is a whipped soap that I make. Um, pretties for your face. This was the Hoodie Season scent, which is one of my favorites. This is a dupe for Bath & Body Works sweater weather. It smells exactly like it. And um, my whipped soaps are like super buttery and uh, they feel so good and they're really nice for like shaving your legs and stuff or your armpits or anywhere else you're shaving. Um, it's just super thick and creamy and like, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It nourishes your skin, leaves it super soft. Um, I have a ton of fragrances that this is available in on my website. I, they are only a seasonal thing though because um, I only sell them in the fall and winter because in the spring and summer the temperatures get too hot, especially in like 
California and Florida and stuff like that. I can't ship them there because if they get too hot, they melt and deflate. And then it looks like you're only getting like this much product and people complain. So it's a whipped product. I have to whip the crap out of it with my KitchenAid mixer to get it to the consistency that it normally is. And then when it gets too hot, they melt. So I can't ship them in the summer and spring, but they're selling like crazy right now because it's winter time and I just recently put them back on the website for Christmas. Um, then we have a body scrub from um, Soap and Glory. Soap and Glory is one of my favorite skincare brands. They have been for years now. Um, from time, and time to time I get stuff from them to review and I'm always super appreciative of it because it's a brand I like anyway to begin with. Um, this is the Real Zing Body Scrub and it is neroli lemon and lime scented. It's very citrusy, um, like super wake you up in the morning type scent. And their body scrubs are so cool because the ones I've tried anyway, they have like a gel consistency to them. So they don't like fall all out of your hand in the shower when you're trying to get it like, uh, what's the word? when you're trying to like soap it up and everything to get it on your knees and everywhere that you're using the scrub on. Um, it's got a great consistency and I wish I could figure out what they use to make it jelly like that, but still it gets foamy like a soap too, kind of. So it's just got everything in a scrub that I like. Um, this wasn't my favorite scent that I've tried from them in a scrub, but I've obviously used it all. It's just, um, I'm someone that likes to take showers at night. So the, the, morning wake you up citrusy scents aren't my favorite but uh, my favorite scrub from them I should have grabbed that too actually because I have one in the shower it's the scrub for joy one and it has I believe it's a it's like a grapefruit scent to it that's not super citrusy like this so um the scrub for joy one is my favorite but it's got that same uh jellyish texture to it um, what else are, uh, I had other stuff on here that I was, wanted to mention as favorites here that weren't necessarily like, um, what do you call it? Empties. Um, well, I'm just going to grab some stuff that's been over here because it's stuff that I've been using lately. The Holidays, Holidays, Holidays palette from ColourPop. I've been disappointed in a lot of their stuff lately, but this palette has been amazing um especially this color this celebrate moi which is this metallic baby pink and it has so much sparkle in it you have to apply it with your fingers in order for it to to apply nicely because it doesn't want to pick up on a brush that great but i did kind of use it underneath the rest of my eye makeup today i had put this on this morning and it was so pretty and then my eyes were watering and I'm like, I need to make a video. So I had to redo my makeup, but it's pink. And then it's got like, almost like a multi-chrome green and bluish shift to it. It's so pretty. That color, the palette as a whole is awesome for this time of year, but that color is my absolute favorite. And now my battery is going to die. So I'm going to change it. All right. Let's hope I can get in focus here and get everything back to the way I had it set up before. Okay, so there was the Muppets holiday palette, and then this is another one I've been using a ton lately, and I have it on my eyes today, the KVD uh, Moon Garden palette, which is also considered their holiday palette, but the these shades are just... The quality of the eyeshadows in the KVD brand never went down. It was just the, the packaging that I wasn't loving lately. But they're going back to, or at least I hope they're going, going to continue with putting cool artwork on the packaging because it's just, it looks awesome. But the eyeshadows themselves are so nice. Um, I used this one and this one today, the Moon Grove and, oh no. The one at the bottom, the Vulpine Aura one. I used those two, but all of them are so, so nice. I've been using them a lot. I'm making kind of a mess of it. <laughs> I tend to go for that olive green 
the Moon, Moon Grove one the most. Um, but I've been using this a lot since I got it, so that's saying a lot because I've been... I get like every ColourPop palette so that I can review it and swatch it and stuff, and it's just... it's palette overkill in this room now. <laughs> so this has been one of my favorites since I got it a few months ago. Um, there's also a lip product I wanted to talk about that I just recently discovered, and I don't know how long these have been around, because I think they were on sale on Ulta, so I'm not sure if this is something they're getting rid of or what, but I just discovered them. They're called, they're from JCat Beauty, and they're called Crystal Burst Liquid Lipsticks. They are tiny, which I wasn't, like I ordered this, I didn't get it in the store, and wasn't expecting it to be so small. But this is the color Romance in Paris. I want to say they had like five or six to choose from. And it is a liquid lipstick. doesn't have a fragrance or anything to it. It goes on and dries matte. And it's totally transfer proof, which is awesome. It does take a little while to dry. But the cool thing about it is it's one of those that... Once it dries and you like do that with your lips, it gets all glittery. I know not everybody likes that, but I think that's really cool. Um, and I just got this one because it was the most nude one that they had. I'm not one for like red lipsticks unless I'm going to something fancy or like maybe on Christmas I'll do a red lip. But I like the more neutral, neutral shades. This one is a little darker than I would normally do for a nude. Um, but you'll see it's still still wet so I'm gonna go back to this and show you the glittery aspect of it but I liked that it's it dries matte doesn't dry out my lips super bad like a lot of um, the matte liquid lipsticks tend to do like the Jeffree Star ones they're so pretty but they kill my lips um, and every, anyone who tells you otherwise I have no idea what they're doing to keep their lips not dry and crackly and dehydrated when those friggin' lipsticks are on their lips. Um, another thing that you hear me mention all the time is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. This is my holy grail of brow products. I use it almost every day um, in the color Dope Taupe. That is the only color I ever get because it's perfect color match for my eyebrows. They do or they did have a different kind of brow pencil that was I don't think I have it anymore I didn't like it as much it had more of like a rounder top to it and it was very dry and like hard to get it to go on your brows but this one it's super thin so you can get very precise with it it's a twist up which is my favorite because you don't have to bother sharp sharpening anything I don't know if that's in focus or not but it's just my favorite brow product ever. But then recently, this was another thing I wanted to mention as a favorite because I've really been enjoying this. I have the, the ColourPop one on my eyebrows today, but when I want a more dramatic look or a bolder brow, I've been using the L'Oreal Unbelieva Brow in... Is this dark brunette, I think? Yeah, dark brunette. So that also has like the taupey shade to it. I think they do have a taupe, but I was lucky the taupe taupey one was out of stock and I was like oh, I'm just gonna get this one um and I was lucky because it's like perfect color it's pretty much the same color as that dope taupe one the only thing I don't like about this is the applicator it comes with like a friggin doe foot applicator and then you then have to take this you have to take an angled brush and it does come with a little double-sided brush that is well, I'll show it to you an angled brush on one end and a spoolie on the other. So you have to take the product off of here with the angled brush, kind of draw in where you want, and then you go in with the spoolie and um, brush it out. This stuff will stay on your eyebrows if you go swimming, <laughs> I am pretty certain, because it is very hard to take it off. Um, I mean, makeup remover takes it off fine, but it's very waterproof, so that is awesome. Uh, and it just works really well. So despite the fact that it comes in a stupid, with a stupid applicator like this, instead of like, it would make more sense to come in even a tube or something, 
or like definitely makes sense to come in a jar but then it would probably dry up faster so I get why they want to put it in a tube type thing but it's just really really like waterproof stays on all day it's like you tattooed your eyebrow on um, and it's a nice bold look to it so I think that about does it for my favorite makeup stuff and just my favorite skincare and stuff that I've been using all year aside from like I have so many palettes that I've been using all year, I don't want to waste time like going through them all. But I'm going to go back to this now because it is dry. So you can see a little bit of sparkle coming through, but then when you mush your lips together, or press your lips together, which I'm going to simulate by kind of rubbing on this now, you can see none of the color comes off on my finger when I'm rubbing at it, but now all the glitter shows or the sparkle. It's not like chunky glitter or anything, it's just really pretty fine gold glitter. And I'm kind of wondering if it's gold in all the colors that they have. This is the only one that I bought. But since they were on sale, I kind of want to go back and get another one. Um, it's just really pretty. This is a very like nice lipstick for the holidays too because it's so sparkly. Now I have three fails that I want to talk about because these are big fails and they're enough, enough of a fail for me to mention it to you. Um, oh wait, there was one more thing too. What was the other thing? Okay, that that's a fail too. So four fails that I want to talk about. I think I've only mentioned one of them before in like in passing. I don't think I've done it in a, a favorites video. If I have, forgive me, but this is kind of like my end of the year one. So I'll mention it again anyway. First thing, and I wanted to like this so much because when I first got it, I fell in love with the scent of it. This is from Naughty. Uh, it's Detox Dynamo Clarifying Shampoo for all hair types and it says with peppermint and sorrel leaf which I thought it was going to smell like peppermint and wasn't crazy about that but it has such a nice scent to it. It's very perfumey and clean but I gave this a good go. I used about half, half the container of it and I'm just going to toss it because I hate this shampoo so much. It... It is a clarifying shampoo, so it's supposed to like cleanse your scalp and everything of all your any buildup or anything. But this dried out my hair so bad. It felt fragile. It felt like sickly. I don't know how to describe it. My hair has never felt so unhealthy as when I was using this shampoo. So, I mean, I used it for a few weeks. I used half the bottle and gave it a good try, but could not enjoy it. So it makes me kind of not want to buy anything from that naughty brand which I think they just sell hair care anyway but I'm really not not gonna look into buying anything else from that brand um which sucks because they had a lot of cool looking stuff that I wanted to try I actually did get the scalp serum and I can't say that that works great either because it really didn't uh when I, I was having an issue like on the underside of my scalp with it being really itchy and I used the serum because it's, it was supposed to calm down itchiness and stuff and it didn't it didn't really do anything so that one was a <laughs> then we have another thing that I used about half of and then gave up on the not your mother's curl talk deep conditioning curl mask so this comes in like a bag which is kind of weird it's, it's like a really thick conditioner again dried my hair out you would think that something that's for curls is gonna make it super moisturized and like I have had issues with this Not Your Mother's brand before and their curl line feeling like very heavy and weighed down in my hair. So I'm surprised that this one dried it out so much, but I, I didn't like this whatsoever. Like, what does it smell like? Hold on. It doesn't, I don't think it had much of a smell actually. I don't remember. It has kind of like a perfumey scent to it, but I just, I love using different hair masks and trying them out and this one just did not give me the moisture I was looking for. This is something I had during the summer and was trying to use it for when I was air drying my hair because I need like a super moisturizing mask or a conditioner um, to keep the frizz away because when I air dry my hair it just wants to go and like frizz out everywhere. Do not recommend this. If you have curly hair I mean I have had stuff from not your mother's before that has worked for me but this curl talk mask was just a no so I did not enjoy that at all 
Um, and then we have this, which is also not empty, but I'm going to toss it because I'm so sick of it. Um, this is the Pacifica Coconut and Charcoal Underarm Detox Scrub. Free your pits with charcoal and green tea. So I'm getting rid of this because I've had it for a really long time. I try to use it and it just, it doesn't even smell good anymore. So it looks like this. Okay, it's like shiny, has charcoal in it. I, I <laughs> this is probably one of the biggest fails. First off, I don't know why I bought anything from Pacifica because I've never liked anything I've bought from this brand. I had a like cherry charcoal face mask that did absolutely nothing for my skin. I had a watermelon toner from them that did absolutely nothing for my skin. And then this did absolutely nothing. This is supposed to be an, a, a scrub for like your underarms to use in conjunction with your deodorant and make it work better and everything. It's got like no grit in it. Like how is it a scrub and it's smooth as a friggin' lotion? It's got hardly any grit. It feels like they sprinkled like two little grains of sugar in there. It doesn't smell great. It says it's coconut and it doesn't even smell like coconut. I, it doesn't smell good now, probably because it's old, but it never smelled like coconut to begin with. I just hate it. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite products that I've used this year. Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know what's up with Pacifica, but I don't think I'm ever gonna buy anything from that brand again because it's like they just put stuff in a bottle that does absolutely nothing for me. Um, yeah, I didn't like the face mask, I didn't like the toner, and now I certainly don't like this underarm scrub. Uh, so that's that. That's going in the trash as well. And then, or is this recyclable? Yeah, it's recyclable. So I'm gonna scoop out the rest of the crap and then clean it. And then the last really big fail was the mascara from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection from ColourPop. Um, the Billy Butcherson mascara. I was so excited. I was like, ooh, they're doing a purple mascara. I, I got one of their mascaras when it first came out, and I should have known better because I hated it then. They have not changed the formula or anything. The brush sucks. The brush is like a big, soft, poofy thing, so it doesn't grab onto your lashes whatsoever. And the formula is just so friggin' dry. Look, this is not even that old. This came out for, like, what, before Halloween time? nothing comes off the brush and i'm like really scrubbing this in there that does, that is not going to hold on to your eyelashes it's just this dry gritty crap that's in the tube and this is how the plain black one was when i first got it but i was like i'll give it another shot because they made a colored one with the uh the hocus pocus collection so aside from it having cute packaging with bats all over the the cap it just sucks as a mascara. It does not pick up on your eyes. The color doesn't transfer transfer to your eyelashes. It's just crappy. It's like this dry, clumpy plum color. That's still really pretty though. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show and talk about. I'm glad I can throw all the, get rid of all the empties and recycle them and then throw the other stuff away. Um, But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess another favorite too this year was the the Jeffree Star, Star Wedding palette. Even though I didn't agree with the pink being smack dab in the middle of this palette, I have used this quite a bit because it's a really nice... Uh, it's one that I go to a lot when I want to just do a neutral look because I like to throw in pops of like cranberry and stuff when I do neutral looks. So it's just like the perfect palette to leave out on my my makeup table all the time because I will grab like a color or two from this if I'm not using specifically that palette. And I'm really happy because I just cleaned off my makeup table the other day so everything is like nice and neat for once <laughs> and I actually feel like filming something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm um, not sure what my next one is going to be. Um, I just did the comparison video for the the Psychedelic Circus and Jawbreaker palette, but um, I don't know if I'm going to have another one of these like sit down type videos before Christmas. So if not, I hope everybody has a good holiday. My son is on Christmas, starts his Christmas vacation in a couple days. So 
I'm super excited about that <laughs> not having to worry about school stuff for like a week and a couple days but um, that's pretty much it so I hope you all have a good Christmas or whatever other holiday you celebrate or if you don't celebrate anything just have a good week in general <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon